Hey guys, so fast yachts, huge tankers, and fashionable liners make it seem like modern ships achieve perfection and are impossible to improve. But there are some companies that are following a different path, and their developments might just surprise you. So today, we're going to learn about what a bulb is, why it's needed, how the Vikings are influencing modern shipbuilding, and you're going to see one of the newest and most unusual yachts in the world. So the ships that you're going to find out about today are all special. They have inverted bows. It's a design where the front part of the ship points down, not up. They are also called reverse bows. Now this isn't a modern invention. It was actually used in ancient triremes because it was necessary for ramming other ships. This type of hull was actively used in sailing fleets and in the Bronze Age, but with the development of artillery and torpedoes, ramming quickly fell out of fashion. And this design was left in the past. But in 2006, a strange ship appeared with a forward displaced attachment and bow section that was extremely reminiscent of an iron. The unusual design was so successful that the Norwegian company Olstein Group today has more than 100 orders for similar ships. The design was called the X-Bow, and there's nothing else like it. But why build such ships in the 21st century, you may ask? Well, as it turns out, this design has many benefits and over time could seriously change how we build ships. So let's break down the benefits. Ships with traditional bows break waves while creating another wave, which uses a lot of energy. Even worse, when a ship is in rough waters, it loses even more. So the bulb partially solves this problem. It's a pronounced rounded protrusion on the ship's bow that's below the waterline. If the construction is correct, the bulb makes the ship more reliable and saves about 10% of the fuel. Today, it can be seen on almost every large ship, but the benefits are only clear at relatively high speeds. The X-Bow technique has no requirements other than the bow being the correct shape, but meanwhile significantly reduces the dynamic resistance. Ships with standard bows have another downside. During a storm, their bows go up, which makes contact with the waves then sprays tons of water in the air, which then washes around on the deck. This is a serious danger for the ship's equipment and the crew and cargo. Olstein ships reduce this downside to a minimum. The name X-Bow might remind you of an axe. Bows built with the X-Bow technique kind of look like an axe blade. This bow doesn't break waves, but cuts them without wasting energy and the air minimizes any sprays, reducing the ship's rolling motion. The inverted X-Bow is more efficient in calm waters by decreasing the frequency and strength of the water, improves the sailor's efforts, and lengthens the ship's service life. These aren't theoretical guesses either, but the results of many tests. In 2007, Olstein organized a competition between two ships with balanced displacement and powerful engines. Scandi Caledonia, with a standard bow and a bulb, competed against Bourbon's Orca. When there weren't strong waves and under identical energy expense, the Orca moved at 13 knots and the Scandi Caledonia moved at 8. But before this, the Orca was never tested in open waters. In November 2016, the ship ran into a powerful storm en route to an oil rig. The waves were 15 meters tall, or 49 feet. But nevertheless, the ship's crew noted the surprising ease of the ship's movement, even under such difficult circumstances. The sailing quality of the ship superseded all expectations. The best confirmation of the X-Bow's successful construction was that after the Orca was made, in just under 15 years, over 100 ships with similar bow designs were launched or entered construction. Additionally, they were designed for various things. The Olstein company insists their return to the forgotten past was motivated 
not by the ironclad monsters from the beginning of the century, but by the Gokstad discovery of the famous Drakkar, excavated by archaeologists in the late 19th century. The engineers paid special attention to the rounded bow. They also carefully studied other ships from that time, and according to modern evidence, the Vikings' Drakkars, despite their small sizes, were excellent ships. The revolutionary hull design wasn't made immediately. The design was accompanied by extensive testing in a pool. While developing the X-Bow technology, Olstein tested their ship models with inverted bows and standard bows with the bulb. The tests show that the idea taken from ancient Scandinavian ships was more efficient. The first ship was the previously mentioned Orca. The ship caused a furor among professionals and was called the Ship of the Year at a competition in Hamburg. The model was entered into the London Museum of Science. From the beginning, similar designs were developed for coastal ships, meaning for small distances between ports of the same country. But recently it became clear that the Viking bow was good for large ships as well. In 2017, an American cruise company ordered four liners with inverted bows. They plan on using them for cruises at high latitudes. In 2020, the first X-Bow super yacht set sail called the Olivia. This motor yacht is almost 89 meters long, or 292 feet. It cost almost $200 million and is one of the most captivating new ships of 2020. Like other luxury class yachts, it's equipped with a helicopter pad, a 10 meter, 33 foot pool, and a gym and a movie theater. Its interior is made in a Japanese style with many trees. The Olivia belongs to Sammy Ofer, an Israeli billionaire from Monaco. Interestingly, he's the owner of one of the largest shipbuilding companies in the world and clearly knows about new technology quickly. One of the most amazing pieces of evidence for his interest in inverted bows was his launching of the high-tech, super expensive American destroyer, the Zimwalt. The ship is built with stealth technology, providing it with a minimal effective area of detection, making it hard to see on the radar of enemy ships. This is where the construction quirks come from. The Zumwalt has an inverted bow that has its own expo design and heap of interior decks. The hull is made of five decks with average heights of three meters and hold 1.75 meters tall, 10 and 5.7 feet. The helicopter pad is about 46 meters long, or 151 feet, and is at the aft on the second deck. It is capable of reaching speeds over 30 knots. That's how Olstein Group was able to start a new trend in shipbuilding. The creation of the X-Bow is undoubtedly a huge event in the world of shipbuilding. It, it showed humankind that it sometimes is worth looking at the technology of the past to improve them in the future. The famous Drakkars were reborn and now will cover the oceans it sees once more. Well, that's all for today, guys. Be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and we'll see you again soon.